Hey YouTube, it's Emmanuel from Tech Insomnia. I've got a gorgeous 2017 iMac here. Very, very nice computer. Apparently it's really, really slow. So we're gonna dive in and see what we can figure out. Let's do it. So it's running Mac OS Big Sur with i5 and eight gigs of RAM. It is a touch slow. I mean, one thing we're definitely going to uncover in this video is, is this 2017 iMac still usable and effective? So I looked up online and this computer actually comes with a one terabyte 5400 RPM hard disk drive. So that's definitely one of the reasons why it's a bit sluggish. What we'll do is we'll flush the OS and see how it is before we entertain any other possible upgrade options. So I've got Catalina installing now. There was a update partition that looked like it was corrupted and the file allocation method for this hard disk drive was in Mac Journal. So I switched it to APFS and I've got Catalina installing now. Let's see if that makes a difference once it's installed. Okay, so I've got the Mac formatted in Catalina and I mean it is just molasses slow. That's my Wi-Fi with the password about a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to connect. Just gonna do a boot test. Now that was absolutely painful. <laughs> <laughs> painfully slow. I don't know what was more painful. Holding the phone for this amount of time or having to sit here. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to upgrade to a solid state hard drive for this Mac. So I did some research online and it looks like you can actually boot this computer from an external SSD, which will just save the effort and the time to open up this screen, which uh, they use a special type of seal on this computer, which is not necessarily the hardest thing to get off, but very very hard to put back on the way that it is so we can kind of skip having to open up this computer and boot it from an external SSD and I'm almost positive that'll give this computer a whole new lease on life. So in order to maximize the speed and functionality of this USB external bootable drive, we're gonna go with these Thunderbolt Type-C ports in a USB Type-C enclosure with a brand new solid state hard drive installed in it. Okay, so I've got Catalina installed on the USB external SSD. This is the external SSD running Catalina, and this is the internal one terabyte hard disk drive set as a secondary. Now I went with the Ugreen Type-C external enclosure only because it's got an aluminum top plate, which will dissipate the heat from the SSD and give it a little bit more longevity. Now the internal Wi-Fi card, for some reason, I think is defective. I tried it on a few Wi-Fi networks, but it's not working, so I installed a USB USB wireless adapter in the back of the computer which has actually upgraded the wireless Wi-Fi on this computer. So with the SSD, it's blazing now. So this is just to give you guys an idea of what the TP-Link Archer 1300 high gain wireless USB adapter looks like in the back of the Mac. It's definitely given it a boost for this network configuration. And I mean, I love how the antenna just kind of sticks up. So from the front, you can't even really see it. It's clean fast, effective. So I've got Safari open and this is just a real world example of how fast the internet is now with the upgraded Wi-Fi card and SSD. So I'm just typing in random searches into Google and as you can see, it's not even blinking. Let's try out uh, YouTube. Wow, it's fast. Let's try out a random video. Wow. Loaded very quick. That's 1080p at uh, 60 frames. Let's test out the graphics card. This is a great test for any computer to test out the power of the graphics card. Stream 1080p at um, 60 frames or 4K or higher and just minimize and maximize while the streaming video is playing. As you can see, very minimal stutter as I minimize and maximize. Wow, this thing's fast. I'm really, really happy with how this computer turned out.
What a difference in boot time from what it was before, literally night and day. <laughs> so I've installed Google Chrome and I just wanted to show you guys this quickly. These extensions on Google Chrome are absolutely crucial for online security and safety. You've got Adblock Plus, which will block pop-ups and the banners that appear on the side for advertisements. Avira Browser Safety, over 80 million malicious sites blocked every single month. And HTTPS Everywhere, which is basically gonna make sure that Chrome cannot open a website that does not have this secure lock icon for the credentials of the website. So just little things, big results. <laughs> While we're at it, another very powerful tool to have on any computer is Clean My Mac. And I love it because it just allows you to clean all the bloat, all the bulk data, checks the security, the speed. Every now and then, you know, some people like to use it weekly, some people monthly, but every now and then I highly recommend running Clean My Mac. Just to scan over the entire computer, just make sure everything is 100% in check. I mean, once this entire scan is done, it basically prompts you to the option to run and then there we go <laughs> just keeps the computer running fresh and clean very 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 powerful tool in my opinion and experience extend the longevity of any Apple computer so I've got the entire iMac clean now from top to bottom including the vents that they were actually really dusty I've installed some 3m two-way tape just to give the SSD a little bit more of a cosmetically appealing look and then that way it just kind of sits here firmly and securely out of the way from anybody looking from the back of the computer. I was going to mount it here, but I figured that was probably a better location to have it. All in all, looking really, really good. Really happy with how this computer turned out. Cleaned, repaired, upgraded, ready to go. Is this 2017 iMac still usable? I'm gonna say no if you're using the stock 5400 RPM hard disk drive that comes with this computer. If you are, in fact, able to upgrade to an internal or external SSD, then it's definitely still relevant and still very usable. Beautiful machine. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys found value and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.